What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Neg Entropy Chronicles. So, when stupid actually works. If you don't understand what I'm saying, there was a lady <laughs> that sued Geico and won. And I'm going to show you the reason why. You will not believe it. Let's get into it. So, Geico ordered to pay woman $5.2 million after she claimed she got STD in boyfriend's car. What? So, <laughs> I really thought this was a joke, but then I realized it wasn't. But this is in Jackson County. A woman in Missouri has reportedly been awarded a $5.2 million settlement from her ex-boyfriend's car insurance company after she contracted a disease from having, you know, SCX with him in his car. The woman identified in a complaint in his MO says she caught HPV in 2017 in a vehicle covered by Geico. <laughs> now, her catching the, you know... That isn't the funny part, but it's just the argument that's being had right now is the most surprising part to me. Her ex-boyfriend failed to inform her he carried HPV, and so she sought compensation for past and future medical expenses and mental and physical pain and suffering. Now, I'm going to be honest. That sounds like something that she should be suing dude for, not the company. Um, because what is the the car company have to do with this but let's see if they actually explain why according to the complaint filed in october 21 the woman said the car insurance policy should provide coverage for her injuries and losses and ask four million dollars hmm still doesn't make any sense to me as to why they should be responsible geico rejected <laughs> reportedly rejected the claim and when mo and her ex-boyfriend entered into arbitration an arbitrator found that the woman was indeed negligently infected and was to be awarded what 5.2 million to be paid by Geico. After the determination was made, Geico reportedly appealed the decision, saying it was denied the right to litigate its interest before judgment was entered against its insured. However, on Tuesday, the state court of appeals affirmed the payout, meaning Geico is still potentially on the hook for the money. <laughs> The court argued that Geico, Geico was given an opportunity and a chance to defend its interests when Mo initially made her claim. Oh, so they lost because they was they didn't think it was, they they didn't take it serious. So that's they they took the L because they didn't take it serious. Geico did not take advantage of this opportunity and instead denied coverage and refused to defend insured. Judge Tom Chapman reportedly concurs that while he believes Geico was offered no meaningful opportunity to participate, existing law regulates the insurer to the status of a bystander. Wait, what? Hold on. The Kansas City Star adds in its report that Geico is contesting the idea the claim is covered under its policy in another related federal court case. The outcome of this case, of that case, reportedly would ultimately determine if the insurance company actually has to pay the $5.2 million settlement. Wow, that is insane. Now, I'm going to tell you this. If you look into your insurance policy and you say insurance does not cover STDs, you now know why. Because there, if you see something in a warnings label or anything like that, it's there because someone's done it and they've probably been sued and lost. So now they have to put that in the book. So can't nobody say anything. Man, I mean, I didn't even like talking about any, a bystander. Now you can ask, what's the account of where's her accountability for it? Um, I can understand the medical thing, but really she wouldn't have won because this was all done by an arbitrator. Because if this was taken to court and it was in front of people's peers, there's no way that she could win this because they're gonna be like, what does the car company have to do with that? You weren't hit by the car. You weren't injured by the car none of that stuff you decided to lay down in the car the car is not the insurance company is not responsible for that because it's not bodily damage done by them mm, maybe by the driver i don't know let me know what y'all think down in the comment section and be on the lookout for more videos all right everybody peace